I'm getting to play with cats all day, so <laughs> it's like a dream situation for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just wearing amazing dresses and getting to play with cats all day, so couldn't be better. Because the story actually keeps quite closely to the book, but there is just zombies added in, so it depends. I can't imagine Jane Austen would be a huge zombie advocate, but she might like it because it's, you know, it's not, it's not steering completely away from the story, it's keeping quite closely, apart from we've just got this added dimension, which she might like if she was a modern day Jane Austen. <laughs> I'd love to, I'm, I'm always wanting to kind of like see a ghost or something. My mum has all of these ghost stories and she's like, you know, she's always talking about things, weird things that have, that have happened to her. And so I'm always kind of like, why can't any of this happen to me? So I do, I do believe in it, it's just nothing ever cool has really happened to me in terms of supernatural stuff. <laughs> I can fold my tongue in half, but it only sometimes works. Should I give it a go? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Cool. Party trick. <laughs> but I don't know if I really would do that at a party, sort of get everyone, <laughs> get everyone around to look at my tongue. <laughs> I think probably corsets the worst thing, but I, I learnt this trick. Well, I. I went for months without knowing this trick, which is, um, so when you put a corset on, if you breathe out as far as you can when you're getting it put on, it means that you can breathe throughout the day. But I didn't really learn this trick until like six months into, you know, like working stuff, having to wear corsets. And so um, after a while, someone was like, do you not do the breathing out trick? And I was like, what is this? Um, so once I learned that, <laughs> Then, then it was okay. But before that, I'd sort of, after lunch, be like, oh, no. <laughs> I am a cat person. Um, I have this amazing fluffy grey cat um, called Ozymandias that I got for my 15th birthday. And, um, and he's like the cutest little thing. But before that, I was a dog person. But until I got one, because um, I'd never had a cat. But now I'm a cat person. I love fancy dress and I always get so into it because I always get very sort of competitive with, <laughs> with things like that. Um, and I, I think if someone's, if someone's saying let's have a fancy dress party, then you've got to go for it. Last one I went to was the 60s, um, 60s one, so I just had kind of big glasses and flared trousers and stuff. What do you call a three-legged donkey? A wonky. <laughs> I'm <laughs>